Hello all, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we will explore how to trade using option chain in our TradeMat software. Let's open a option chain from here and see the features of it. On the top left corner, you can select the index and the option change will change accordingly. As you can see on the left side, it has calls and on right side it has puts arrange in the mirror format we have selected straddle format so it is showing a straddle of each strike right now it is similar to what you see in the nsc option chain you can also select a straggle format which will be showing the equal distance strangle from the atm strike in the strangle format both calls and put will be in the descending order of their prices if you click on the refresh atm button or use f5 button shortcut then it will refresh the strangle based on the latest ATM strike. You can set how many rows you want to see above and below ATM through these inputs. In the middle column, you can see LTP of both calls and puts. After that, it will show you a strike price. These red buttons are for sell orders, green buttons are for buy orders and exit button in the middle to exit the position. Quantity for these buttons can be changed from this quantity field or you can use a shortcut F2 to quickly change it. For instance, right now the quantity is 25 and you want to change this quantity to 2500. Then you can either click here and change the quantity to 2500. Or you can press F2 to change the quantity. You can change it to 1000 and press F2 again then it will again come to the same cell which was selected previously in the option chain. To initiate the position, you can just click on the red button or green button or use the arrow key to navigate between the cells and use the space bar to enter the position. Let's take some position now using keyboard. We will buy some hedges. Now as you can see live PNL and net quantity of both calls and put are displayed over here. If you take any position directly through broker terminal then also it will reflect over here. You can see order book in right hand side of this option chain. Sell orders are in red color, buy orders are in yellow color. You can also monitor the combined LTP of each triangle over here. If you select a straddle format, it will show you a combined straddle premium in the combined section. You can also use this combined sell, combined buy and combined exit button to take the position or exit the position. For example, if you want to sell this 25,000 straddle, combined premium is running at 205 rupees. You can click on this sell button. Similarly, for exit, you can use this exit button. If you are doing a short term trading or scalping, you can pin the option chain so it will be visible over the chart as well. Especially if you are trading on smaller time frames like 1 minute or 3 minute, then the execution speed is very important. By the time you see the opportunity on chart and switch the screen and search the option in market watch and place the multiple orders, price may move before that. So, if you pin the option chain and make it smaller like this, so that only few ITM, OTM and ATM options are visible, then you can quickly take the entry and exit from the option chain. We recommend you to reduce the number of columns and rows as much as possible, so that option chain becomes very small. If you have done all the analysis in advance and just waiting for the price to cross the levels only, then what you can do? is you can keep the option chain window selected and take the trades very fast using the keyboard arrow and spacebar. You can use buy or sell button to take entry or exit and exit button to exit the position. So many clients are using this option chain this way and we have received amazing feedback from them for the same. You can even reduce the option chain by minimize the order book and enabling only nearest ATM strike so that you have a better view of the chart. There are two columns, premium and intrinsic value, which shows the live premium and intrinsic value of the option contract. 
If you are trading using this data, then displaying live value of these options in the option chain becomes very helpful. If you don't require this data, then you can remove from this drop down menu. As you can see, these columns are reduced. You can always remove unnecessary column to reduce the clutter for easy and fast decision making. The option chain provides a wealth of real time data to analyze and manage your trades effectively. You can enable those data from this drop down. For example, let's activate a volume delta open interest. As you can see, it shows all these data live in call side and put side. Now let's see the usage of this move button. We have given 50% and 100% move buttons for both buy positions and sell positions. Right now we have two sell position open in call side 24,750 and 24,800 and input side 24,750 and 24,700 with the 1000 quantity. Now let's say if you want to move both of these position to any other strike to risk off or risk on your position instantly. If you do that manually then you have to fire multiple orders. But using this sell move button you can do it with the single click. For example if you want to shift both of this strike to 24600 if you click on this sell move 100% button it will instantly squaring off these two positions and take the new position over here now let's say you want to move half the position of these both strike and take the new position in the new strike by clicking on this 50% sell button you can do it by single click you can also move the buy position in the same manner using the buy move buttons Let's see how you can set SL and target for each option from option chain. You will need to enable SL and target from this drop down menu. Once you enable, you will see two columns added SL and target and percentage of quantity you need to exit for both calls and puts. To set SL or target, you just need to enter the SL or target that you want to keep for any position in respective cell. Once you click enter or click on any other cell, that SL or target will be active. For example, you are setting SL of 300 and target of 100 for this 24700 option contract. So once price reaches to SL 300 or target 100, it will exit the position. If you exit the position through exit button or directly through the broker terminal, or by any other means, then SL and target will be automatically deactivated. Once target or SL achieve, it will disable both SL and target and you can re-enter the new value required. You can also determine the quantity you want to exit when SL or target hit. The feature which we are going to understand now is range breakout. Range breakout can be used in two ways. You can use it to take new position or you can use it to exit any open position. Let's see how you can use it to take new position. But before that, we will understand the syntax. You can apply a range breakout based on the option price or underlying price. Let's understand how to apply on option price first. Assume current market price of any particular option contract is running at 100 and you want to buy it 50 quantity if price go above 150. Then you need to apply 50 at the red 150 in range breakout column. Similarly, if current market price is running at 100 and you want to buy 50 quantity when price go below 70, then you need to apply 50 at the red 70 in range breakout column. In case of sell orders, current market price is running at 100 and you want to sell 50 quantity when price go above 150, then you need to type minus 50 at the red 150 in range breakout column similarly current market price is running at 100 and you want to sell 50 quantity when price go below 70 then you need to apply minus 50 at the red 70 in range breakout column here depending upon the current market price and price you specify it will automatically determine whether you want to take the position when price move up or down 
In underlying method, assume underlying is running at 25,000 of an index and you want to buy 50 quantity in any particular strike price when underlying goes above 25,100. Then you need to apply 50 at the rate 25,100. Similarly, current underlying is running at 25,000 and you want to buy 50 quantity when underlying goes below 24,900. Then you need to type 50 at the rate 24900 in range breakout column. In case of sell orders, current underlying is running at 25000 and you want to sell 50 quantity in any particular strike. When underlying goes above 25100, then you need to apply minus 50 at the rate 25100. Similarly, current underlying is running at 25000 and you want to sell 50 quantity when underlying goes below 24900. Then you need to type minus 50 at the rate 24900 in range breakout column. TradeMat software automatically determine whether the condition should be checked based on the option price or underlying price. Let's see live example of this range breakout and how you can apply here in option chain. If you want to buy 200 quantity when this 24800 strike reaches to 180, then you need to apply 200 at the rate 180 here in range breakout column. Let's take another condition. In 24900 option, when price reaches to 100, you want to sell 200 quantity. So you need to apply minus 200 at the rate 100 in range breakout column. Similarly, you can use this range breakout to exit some existing position, such as here in 24700 options, you already have a 1000 quantity and you want to exit this position if the price of this contract reaches to 150. So we will put 1000 at the rate 150 here. So whenever this price reaches to 150, it will be exited this position as we have created this buy range breakout rule against our existing sell position. Now let's see the example of range breakout based on the underlying. Here in put side 24700 strike price, you already have a position of 1000 quantity and you want to add 200 more quantity to this 24700 strike when nifty spot reaches to 24750. For that we need to apply minus 200 at the rate 24750. Similarly, when nifty spot reaches to 24700, you want to buy 200 quantity in 24600 strike price. So you need to apply 200 at the 24700 here in 24600 strike price. You can also use this RB cell to make any notes for your reference. Anything you write which is not following the syntax will not take any action. For instance, you already have a position in 24650 strike price and the average price for this contract is 172. So you can enter 172 here as a node. Here it will not affect any rules entered here or it will not perform any action. Now let's understand how you can set the combined SL and combined target on the straddle or take the entry based on the combined premium. Let's assume you have taken some position in the 24700 strike and the combined premium right now is running at 379. If you want to exit this straddle when the combined LTP goes above 400 rupees. For that, you just need to write down 400 on QCSL that is quick combined stop loss. As soon as the combined LTP reaches to 400, it will exit both call and put. Similarly, for setting the target of this 24700 straddle, you can simply enter and I want to set the target of 200 rupees. So I can simply enter 200 rupees over here and this will be set as my target of 200. Whenever the combined LTP reaches to 200, it will exit both call and put. Now let's say if you want to take some new position when the combined LTP of this 24750 straddle reaches to 400. To do that, you can simply done by this QCE button that is quick combine entry. Once you click on this, you will see this new window popping which is called a strategy template. We have explained the strategy template in the separate video that you can visit on our YouTube channel. As you can see, it already has two lag which is 24750 call and 24750 put and quantities are pre-filled. 
From this drop down menu, you can set whether you want to enter when combined LTP go up or down and you can set the price. For example, I want to sell when the combined LTP goes above 400. So once you set and click on execute button, the rule will be created and it will execute whenever it triggers. You can also review all the rules from this strategy monitor in view menu. You can also create a multiple strategy templates like this and enter in parts like let's say if you want to sell when the combined LTP reaches to 400, 420 and 450. You can simply copy this and mention the price 420 over here and click on execute button. This rule will be add as a 420 rupees. We will also create it for 450 rupees. This time we will change the quantity to 500. As you can see in both the options the quantity is changed to 500 and click on execute button. So the rule is added over here as 400 with 1000 quantity, 420 with 1000 quantity and 450 with 500 quantity. You can also achieve the part booking as well as per your requirement as we have created the strategy for the entry you can also create it for exit. There are two other important columns which is reference price and reference difference which shows the executed price of your last order in that strike and reference difference is a difference between your reference price and the LTP which is running at the moment. There are many other data points which you can explore which is open interest, volume, bid and ask which you can enable or disable from this drop down menu. Here are a auto adjustment rule which we will explain in the separate video. There are other data like here you can see the selected expiry day and beside that you can see the days to expiry that is how many days are remaining until the selected expiry. Here we provided the index details which you have selected in the option chain. It displays index spot, a nearest monthly future, a nearest synthetic future, current ATM and India VIX. Below that you can see the live MTM of selected index, MTM high, MTM low and available fund. Here you can see a call value, a put value, total of call and put value and the difference between call and put value. All these values are calculated based on your open position. Here the call value refers to call sell quantity into call sell premium minus call buy quantity into call buy premium. In the put value refers to put sell quantity into put sell premium minus put buy quantity into put buy premium. Below that there is a straddle format and strangle format option chain. There is a third option which is custom option chain. In the custom option chain you can create a straddle or strangle of your choice. Unlike previous two formats here you can select the strike price from this drop down. These are two fields which are used to increase or decrease number of rows in option chain. For instance, if you are trading in straddle format and you don't want to see a 5 straddles above and below ATM, then you can reduce the number of rows from here. From here, you can refresh the ATM. The option chain will not change the ATM value automatically. To view the live ATM strike price, you can refer over here. This will show you the live ATM. When you click on refresh ATM, the option chain will update and adjust according to current ATM. Here, as you can see, it says only MIS positions are displayed. This means that in the settings menu, if you set your product type to MIS, you will only be able to see the positions with the MIS product type. So whatever positions you take from the option chain will be fired the orders as MIS order only. And if you have any NRML position running, then it will not displayed over here. Here this button is to exit all the MIS position running. You can also exit partial quantity if you want. You can select 25%, 50% or 100%. If you click it over here, it will exit 100% quantity. That's all for today's video on option chain in TradeMate software. We will be releasing more tutorials regularly. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for updates. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it with your fellow traders. Thank you for watching.